In this video, we will learn about fat and its types. Let's first understand what is fat. Fat is an essential macronutrient that is required for various body functions. Fat provides us energy, structure to the cell, plays a vital role in the proper functioning of the brain, provides insulation, provides protective padding to our organs, and can act as a solvent for fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E, and K. One gram of fat gives us 9 kilocalories. If we consume one tablespoon of oil which has around 10 grams of fat, it can give us 90 kilocalories. Now let's understand different types of fat. Fatty acids are molecules with a lipid carboxylic acid, also known as the organic acids containing the COOH group. These are found in fats, oils, and cell membranes. Fatty acids are categorized into saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated fatty acids. If all bonds between the carbon molecules in a fatty acid are single bonds, they are called saturated fatty acids. If the fatty acids have double or triple bonds between the carbon molecules it is called unsaturated fatty acids. Monounsaturated fatty acids have one double or one triple bond between the carbon molecules, while polyunsaturated fatty acids have more than one double or triple bond. Fatty acids can be further classified based on the last position of double bonds in fatty acids. For example, in omega-9 fatty acid, the double bond is located 9 carbons away from the omega end of the fatty acid molecule. It is a monounsaturated fatty acid. Similarly, omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids have their last double bond, 3 and 6 carbons away from the omega end. These are polyunsaturated fatty acids. Different types of omega-3 fatty acids that are involved in our body are alpha-linoleic acid or ALA which is found in plant oils, icosapeninoic acid or EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid or DHA, which are found in marine oils, while linoleic acid is the common omega-6 fatty acid in our diet. Our body can synthesize many fatty acids including omega-9 fatty acids, but omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids cannot be produced in our body and must be included in our diet, hence they are called essential fatty acids. This is it for this video, but we will learn more about triglycerides and lipoprotein in a different video. Thank you.